This is one of the college board um, questions that they posted for quizzes, another one. Try to pause in between and um, make sure that you can solve the questions or answer the questions before you see my explanation. So the first problem says the figure shows a bar magnet and five points near the magnet. The air in the right most point represents the needle of a compass. On each of the remaining four points, draw an arrow to show the orientation of the compass needle at that point. So the magnetic field lines go from north to south. So that means when they're coming out of the north, I'm just going to draw them right now. They would go like this from north to south and like this from north to south. So if you are trying to draw magnetic field lines, um, through the points that they show you, that means they're coming out here. Then they must be going a little bit this way, straight, a little bit down, and then eventually that way. And for B part, they say a coil of wire is initially held perpendicular to the concentric with the north pole of the magnet and then slowly moved to the right until it reaches the other end of the magnet as shown um, on your right and um, in the paragraph length response predict the direction of the mag magnitude of the current in the coil as the three positions shown indicate the direction with respect to the end view shown so looks like you have the coil right here here and here and it's moving through the magnetic field lines so the magnetic field lines again they will come out and this is shown the direction of the coil so the magnetic field lines coming out of here going through the coil and we'll be getting into the coil on this side like that so when they are getting into the coil the coil does not like any changes the coil does not want any magnetic field lines appear when there were none so the coil will create the current opposing the magnetic field lines and let me draw for you how the direction of the magnetic field is around the uh, wire is. So if I have a wire and the current is floating in this direction, I, then I have to take my right hand rule and I have to curl my fingers around the wire. And that will show me the direction of the magnetic field around the wire. So this will be the magnetic field. The, um, the part that is coming out of toward you, so this one is coming toward you, this one is going away from you. What is coming toward you is usually shown like this on the, their diagrams. And what is going away from you is a cross. It's like an error. Error that flies toward you has pointed dot toward you, and error that flies away from you has that feathery cross on the back. So when I have a coil, when I have, um, let's do it this way, when I have a coil and it doesn't have any current in it, when the magnetic field lines start coming into the coil, coil wants to oppose this magnetic field lines so the coil will create electric or magnetic field uh, current it will create the current that will oppose the changes that happen into the coil and in order to oppose the magnetic field lines that means um, the current has to flow in this direction so if the current is flowing in this direction then your right hand rule is going to be like this here is your finger and your hands are curled like this so this shows your direction of the current 
and your fingers are curled um, behind the coil and you would see like them I don't even know how to show this here but okay if you have the wire like this and your hand goes like this so this is the direction of the magnetic of the current let's do this way this is the direction of the current so this is your thumb and then you curl it that way so your finger is coming out over there and then the next one and your finger is coming on the other side so it would be like this you would not see this part right here because that's your hand and on the other side you would see even though you don't see it because this is still your hand so but if somebody was looking on the other side of the paper they would see your hand is going like this so that means the magnetic field that would be created would go in by um, by the current would be directed coming out this way opposing the magnetic field that is coming and getting in to behind and again coming out this way opposing the magnetic field and going back the other side so i know that the current at this point would be down so here are examples that i wanted to show you just so it's going to be easier to understand so you see if the current is floating in this direction so that is your current then the magnetic field um in the uh around the wire with the current is going to go in this direction so that's going to be a magnetic field and it goes into the page on this side and comes out on this side because if you curl your hand you curl your right hand so you would have your big thumb and then you would wrap your fingers like this around and that shows you the direction so the way you wrap your fingers shows the direction of the magnetic field and this shows the direction of the current so here your fingers get into the page and here your fingers would come out of the page so that is the direction of the magnetic field around the current here's another example of the picture so if you have a coil um, or a loop moving in this direction so the velocity of the loop they show you right here you have the velocity of the loop moving in that direction and um, here is your magnetic field lines coming into getting out this way and then again coming into getting out that way so and the velocity is um, to the right so the same as our velocity is to the right let me do a different color right here so this is the velocity of the loop and the magnetic field lines are getting into the loop into the loop into the loop into the loop so that is called flux so the flux in the loop is increasing when you get it closer to the magnet and by lenz's law it says that uh, the current that is created in the loop will oppose the direction of the magnetic field lines that are coming in so the current itself has to create um, the magnetic field lines uh, that will oppose the change of the flux in the loop and because the flux is increasing when you bring the loop um, moving it to the right and at first the loop did not have any magnetic fields and now when you get it closer and closer to the to the magnet it will increase the flux through the loop so you were um, your hand would look like this so here is your thumb and then you would have your fingers curled like this like this and the magnetic field lines from your fingers um let me do it in different color the magnetic field from your fingers on the other side would oppose the direction of the flux of the magnetic fields that are coming from um from the magnet so if uh, you look at this example again i just make sure that you understand the right hand rule so you see that the hand right here uh, curls the hand right here right here you see the fingers curl that way 
And so when they curl that way, the magnetic field lines uh, created by the loop will go into the loop right here. And when you have your right hand here, and your thumb always shows the direction of the current. So the direction of the current is right here. They show this is the current. So the direction of the current is here. And then in in here, when the magnetic field line coming out this way, created by the current, so the magnetic field lines are like this, then they are coming out of the page on this side. And again, they are going like this, and then coming out of the page on this side. So they show the dots for that reason. So the magnetic field line created by this current would be into the page inside of the loop and out of the page uh, outside of the loop. So to answer your question in B, you would say that uh, direction of the current in um, the so direction of the current here would be clockwise. If your eye is looking like here, the direction of the current is clockwise. Um, in the middle of the magnet, you will not have magnetic field changing anymore. Here, it's increasing of the magnetic field lines when you get closer to the magnet. And right here, it's decreasing when you're leaving the magnet. So here, it's direction clockwise. And at, and at the end, um, it's going to change different directions. So now, when you're leaving the, uh, the magnet, you're losing the magnetic field lines and the loop does not want to have any change. So Lenz's law says that the loop will oppose any change of the flux in the loop. So because it's losing the, the flux, it will create the current in the opposite direction of what it used to have at the beginning to, um, to add additional magnetic field lines in this direction. So if I have the loop right there at the end, I have the loop like this, and the magnetic field lines are um, the ones that are coming in, going to be less and less of them. The current will create the magnetic field that is helping not to lose. So the current is going to be in this direction because if you have your thumb and you curl your fingers like this, so here is your hand. Then um, thumb shows the direction of the current, and the magnetic field lines are your th your fingers. So the magnetic field lines add an additional magnetic uh, field field lines created by the current to not lose the magnetic field lines by the magnet. So your final response without any explanation to this question is going to be that the direction of the magnetic direction of the current at the beginning is going to be um, clockwise uh, to oppose the flux by Lenz's law is going to be clockwise uh, to oppose the change of the flux in the in the loop when the magnetic field lines are increasing or the flux is increasing through the loop uh, when the loop is approaching the north pole your magnetic field line your current is going to be equal to zero in the middle because it doesn't want to have um, it doesn't have any change in the magnetic field it's just as much as there are is so there's no change in the middle and at the end it will change the direction to again by Lenz's law to oppose the change of the flux and at the end you're losing the flux or you're losing the magnetic field lines through the loop and uh, it will change the direction of the current in the loop. So if at the beginning it was clockwise, then at the end it's going to be counterclockwise. So the current is going to be counterclockwise. And for C part, they say in, a, in the setup shown above, um, probably this one, Shown above, a coil of the wire has counterclockwise current as shown in the end view. In the side view, the current in the near side of the coil 
is directed toward the bottom of the page. The coil is near the south pole of the magnet, which is held in place. Does the coil exert an attractive or a repulsive force in the magnet? So in this question, they say that the current is already present in the coil. So the current is um, in this direction or like that. I can look at the loop right here, the one that they provide me on the right side, and I can say the current is in that direction, the current is in this direction. So if it is in this direction, I'm gonna draw my hand. My hand will go the, um, let's do it like this. My hand will go like this, my thumb, and then my fingers are gonna be curled like that. So here is my blue hand right here. And when my fingers are curled this way, then the magnetic field lines, I'm gonna do them in green, the magnetic field lines going away from you on this side, but they are coming out from this side. So if they're coming out from this side, I'm gonna erase the direction right here. That means that, um, let me just do maybe to show you which part I see, otherwise it gets very com confusing. So if I have this, loop right here and the current is floating in this direction the confusing part is which side is which um, so the side that I see here this side is the right side of the loop so I'm gonna color this and I'm gonna say this is the right side of the loop so this is the right side of the loop. So the axis is going like this. And then you don't see how it gets into, but then it's coming out here. So what we see is the most right side of the loop. So if we were writing, if we were looking at it uh, from the right side, this is what we would see. And if you look right here, in this drawing, you see the magnetic fields are coming out of the loop right here. So the magnetic field lines, I'm gonna keep it green the same. So the magnetic field lines are coming out. Yes, these dots mean that um, magnetic field lines are coming out. So magnetic field lines coming out, magnetic field lines coming out. That means they get in into and they get in into because it's a wire with a current, so the magnetic field is coming out, getting into, coming out, getting into on the other side. But at the same time, magnetic field lines from the magnet coming out and getting into, and coming out and getting into. So that again means that where they're getting into is the south side, and where they're getting out is the north side. So here they're getting out on this side, and they're getting in on that side. So the south and the south will repel each other. So the answer for um, this question would be repel each other.